Okay, Rod, so the final game of the season on the Saturday, an all important one which um, decides where we finish in the table. Yeah, um, another big game for the club, to be fair. Um, I think we've, in our last couple of years, I think we've finished uh, fourth and third. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. We need to uh, brush ourselves down and go again. Um, we know Chippenham's not the best of places to, to try and go and win a game of football. Very tough. Um, but as I always say, it's about mindset. You know, we have to get off that coach with the right attitude. And um, after that, it's cup football. So uh, we want to finish as high as we can. Um, so the, the three points on Saturday is still important to us. And then we'll take, uh, we'll take the Wednesday game, whoever we've got to play. And, um, you know, we just hope that we can uh, find a bit of form in the playoffs. Yeah, after the uh, difficult defeat on uh, Easter Monday, uh, they always talk about how it's important to motivate the players, but how important is it to motivate yourself and also in, a, in order to get an important win like this on Saturday? Yeah, to be honest and truthful, I felt well in. I felt we played, um, considering the circumstances, going down to 10 men. I got so I thought the boys put in a right shift and I felt second half, you know, we should have got back in the game. Um, had one or two uh, decisions gone for us, which one or two had gone against us early on in the game. Mon uh, Saturday, very disappointed. And, uh, you know, I have to say that, um, you know, I take that the blame for that result as far as I'm concerned. I picked the team um, and it's down to me to to motivate these boys. What I've done over the last few weeks, and I think it's been noted, I've, I've sort of not gave them as much pressure. Um, so I haven't been as vocal on the sidelines. It doesn't mean to say that I don't care. Um, but, you know, after one or two things that had sort of gone on at the club, I felt it was right to not put too much more pressure on the players and allow them to go out there and do their own, um, do their own thing as such. But, um, that change coming on Saturday now. Um, I've got to, you know, I've got to be myself, and um, you know, whether players sometimes feel that I'm a bit too much for them or not, then uh, it's my job to get results. And um, looking on what I see on Saturday, there's no questions that uh, you know some of these players do need to be driven on. And um, for the ones who basically were given the opportunity, um, obviously it weren't the best day for them. So, but we are a squad, and as I keep saying, you know, you win together, you lose together. Um, Saturday's performance or, or the Friday's performance was not down to any individual. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's about being collective. And um, I feel that we've still got enough in this squad here to, you know, go there Saturday and win. And I still believe that anybody beats us in the playoffs will have to be a good side. Because I know all the teams in this division, and uh, I'm sure none of them want to play us. And, um, you know, we know whoever we get be a difficult game. But um, one thing I'd like to just stress in this interview is that people have to realise, you know, this league is a very tough league, OK? Um, Torquay have, uh, have managed to win this league. And um, I watched one or two of their interviews, uh, their skipper, Asa Hall, said the other day that it's a really tough league. And... Uh, He's obviously had the, the you know the, the quality to play as a football league player in his career, and he's dropped down to this level, and um, it's not easy. It's not easy. And what I just want to say to the supporters is, you know, it, it's it's not been easy since I've been at the football club for numerous situations. Um, for what me and Nick and the rest of my staff have to achieve um, every year is trying to build a new team because of the stability of the club. Um, very hard to see beyond the season. So, you know, if people are aware that we've had to build three teams in three years, it's not easy. Um, we may have kept half a dozen players if we're lucky. Um, well, to have a squad, you've got to have 20. So there's still a lot of re recruitment that needs to be done. And what they have to be sort of mindful of, and I'm sure they do, and I'm sure a lot of their frustration, um, yes, people can come for me, people can, that's, that's, that's not a problem, but when you do hear a lot of what's being said and the way that people feel the club's being run, you know, the people who are coming in to take this club over um, do have a, a, a strategy and, and, and when they feel it's right to, to, to basically sort of get to the helm of this football club and then obviously uh, hopefully things will run smoother. So nothing's been easy in the three years that I've been here. Nothing's been easy. Um, what I would turn around and say is that 
we've still got this football club in the playoffs, three years on the bounce, okay? Um, whether we won the playoffs, uh, is, uh, that's an achievement within itself. We've still set out the goal that I achieve every season is to aim for playoffs. Unfortunately for us in this division, only one goes up automatically. So it's a very, very tough league. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, we've pretty much, when you look at our stats, we've pretty much done as good as we can do at this football club in the situation the football club's in. We've also, on the back of that, had three cup finals. Um, and yes, we're all disappointed that, you know, we wanted to beat East Farrant, especially now you see that they get relegated. Probably doesn't make our result look the best. However, it's a cup final. And, um, you know, we wasn't great to start in that game and we got punished. But for the rest of the game, I thought we'd done OK. Um, but, you know, I understand the frustration of the supporters and I get on very well with the supporters here. And there's a group of supporters that I get on immensely well with, um, including yourself. So, you know, it's, it's one of those that they have to put faith in me, but I'm only as good as, you know, what we're able to deal with. And a lot of the situations that have occurred, including this season and recently, um, don't help. And as I say, and I don't put that on the potential new owners because I've got to be honest, and I will say without the likes of Johnny Holmes, um, obviously Steve Shaw being his right-hand man and you've got Jill as well. This club, we probably wouldn't even be standing here. So people have to really respect and appreciate what people have done for this football club um, because it's a big city and this city has been on the brink of not having a football club for since I've been here. And I'm sure them problems were pretty much similar before I got here. So sometimes people say, you know, you have to be careful what you wish for. But for, for me, I do think this club is only going in one way. And obviously I want to be at the helm of that after doing three years of having to, you know, um, be in a situation that we've had. Um, and, and, and all I want the supporters to understand is we're going to fight for our lives, OK, starting on Saturday. Um, don't worry about our previous bit of form because football changes game to game. All I would say to our supporters is please, you know, bring along your supporters um, hat on, if you like, starting from Saturday and really get behind the boys. Get rid of all this negativity because the negativity doesn't win you nothing, OK? Positivity will reflect on the players and these players, I promise you now, will go out starting on Saturday and you'll see, I'm hoping, with everybody available, you're going to see a different Chelmsford in the... Uh, obviously, starting from Saturday's game away at Chippenham and then come Wednesday, where we play on Wednesday. Um, these boys will be fired up, they'll be up for it and uh, and who knows, It's it could be our year. Uh, we've got as good a chance as anybody and for all the other teams that have managed to get in the playoffs, not everybody secured the playoffs, but you have to say fair play to them clubs as well because it's not easy. And as I say, our season isn't over. It's just about to begin. And what I want to send a message out to yourselves and all the supporters is you need to be on this journey, OK? And do it with the right attitude. And whatever comes at the end of the playoffs, you know, people have to analyse that it hasn't been a bad season. I haven't got a magic wand, neither has Nick, neither is my staff, neither are my players. We have to work hard in every game to gain the maximum points. And yes, there's been one or two or maybe three or four performances this season that they would say, probably not acceptable. And they've got every right to say that. But the truth of the matter is, come the end of the season, it's still been a good season, as far as I'm concerned. And as I say, I'm getting a little bit disappointed with the negativity. And uh, and I feel, you know, from, from the playoffs and the start of pre-season, whatever division we're in, I'm hope, hopefully we're going to be in a lot more solid hands where we can we can feel that you know we've got a, an owner that's going to try and drive us on and drive this club on but he wants positivity as well because the amount of money that he has paid out to keep his club alive he needs a bit of respect and he wants a bit of po positivity as well we don't want energy sappers i expect all my supporters to get on the back of it now and, and let's turn these into uh, maybe three cup finals um, after, during the podcast interview after the Wildstone game you mentioned that there might be some players on loan and Joel Reg coming back the likes of Amos Nasher, uh, Mark Haynes Taylor Miles, is that still something that has been on your mind or are you going to see what happens after Saturday first? 
Um, yeah, I will do. I will do. Obviously, I'd only bring them back if I felt there was a major issue. Um, I believe Mark Haynes hasn't even been playing at Stortford because he's he, he must be injured. Um, Taylor Miles is out at Chesant and they're now in the playoffs. And then Amos Nasher is is obviously down at um, East Farrock, but he's still got a game to come, you know, compete um, complete on Saturday for East Farrock. So um, we haven't done anything. We haven't panicked. Um, we have to appreciate that you know we have a squad, and that squad has got every chance to to help us get over the finishing line. Um, what you also we lost Billy not for three games. Well, in the short time that we've seen Billy, he's a quality footballer. Um, we rested Mick on Saturday, Mick explained, and Scott Fenwick's had an abbreviment and uh, he lost his nan, so he went back to Newcastle and uh, we let him have as much time as we felt needed. So hopefully all them three are going to be really ready to go on Saturday. And then, as I say, you know, um, whatever we need to do to get over the line, we need to try and find that formula. Um, I know it's the pitch ain't conducive to the way we want to play, it's not, and I can't see that changing too much from now till Saturday. But we will have a, we will pick a team that you know will will know how to, to to go and win that game of football on Wednesday. But most importantly, we need to try and get the three points on Saturday. Gives us home advantage in the playoffs. Uh, but if we don't manage to do that, wherever we need to travel on the Wednesday, we'll be there and we'll be ready to go. And uh, and hopefully these boys can put in a really good performance for us. Richard, thank you very much. So.